need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Alex Murphy joins you, mate, 9 0 for yourself tonight. Just a reflection on your performance there. Huh? Yeah, really good performance. I'm really pleased with that. Um, probably my best performance so far. So it shows I'm going in the right direction. Everything's going good. I'm getting a good performances. So yeah, there's so many more. Yeah, I can imagine it's tough to fight fighters like that sometimes when they're not really giving you a lot back. But when he threw hands, he also went in with his head as well. So you had a couple of things to deal with. Yeah, you know, we, we knew about that. We had done our own work and, and we, had, we had seen that. So I think that really the plan was to just stay along with him, to try and stay in that centre of the ring. Sometimes it's easier said than done in it and you, you do get drawn in. But um, I think a lot of, because I was, I was much bigger than him and, and I had the range on him, I think with me being so busy, that's probably what stopped him throwing as much as he could, you know. Um, so it was more, you know, job well done for me and, and everything that we, we wanted to do, we did out there. So, you know, I was happy. I don't know if it's just looking from the outside in, but is it not a massive ring tonight? It feels huge. It looks yeah, huge. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that was by far the biggest ring I've ever been in. Uh, it was a really big ring. I thought that, you know, a few times. It, and, and it's hard because I've got that style where, you know, I'm trying to pin him into, into the corner and I'm trying to pin him into the ropes and he'd move and he'd be miles away. But uh, yeah, but at the same time, it's a good it's good for me as well to have a big ring. Obviously, with him being smaller, you'd probably prefer a smaller ring. At least I can use my range at the big ring. But it's hard to pin him in. <laughs> it's massive. I've got a feeling that might be catered to Lyndon Arthur, but I'm not sure. Um, just a quick word on your support tonight. They're definitely dressed bright enough. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't miss any of them. <laughs> yeah. You're going to do tops, do them bright. Yeah, well, that's exactly what we've done. Uh, the, the big, bright green tops. Um, good idea, you know. Uh, it just makes them all stand out, and it's like you've seen them all congregated together there, so it created a bit more of an atmosphere, and it's good. It, it also just shows, you know, how many like, tickets to do, and, and I wanted to put that out there sort of thing. Um, I do a lot of tickets, and sometimes it can go a bit unnoticed and a bit unknown, so... I think with that top idea there, you, you can see, you know, I'm a big ticket seller and, uh, and they're all there for me. So it's like, it was a good idea. So I'm buzzing, they all, they all came out with the top sign. <laughs> yeah, it was a cracking idea because, like you said, they're all, uh, they're all visible. Um, 9 and 0 now, you've had one six rounder, but I can imagine next time you're going to want to step up. You've had, what's it, four, five, four rounders in a row, and you'll want to do and get used to the, the later rounds. Uh, yeah, so uh, my sixth fight was uh, a six rounder. And obviously, the first five are all four rounders. Sixth fight was a six rounder. I was then hoping then to stay on the sixes. Uh, and then in March, I got the call to be on the Wasserman show, the last Linden Arthur fight, and it was, there was only space for four. Um, so that was a four-rounder. And then my, uh, seven, my eighth fight, um, that was supposed to be a six-rounder, supposed to go back up. And uh, I got found out the day of the fight, they had to knock it down to four because of my opponent. And then I got the call again for Wasserman, and this is my ninth fight, but he said again, it's only a four-rounder. But I, I had to take it's it not you want to be doing it, yeah. You know, I want to be on them, them uh, later rounds. It, it'll help me, it'll help my style. Um, I feel like I, I progress as, as a rounds go on so I'm really like keen to get into them six eight rounders um, I was just saying you know I think I'm looking at going again in November on my manager's show uh, Kieran Farrell so definitely a six rounder there and then uh, in the next year stay on the sixes look at the eights and we'll just build it from there. Need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well I never shut up Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.